So the first thing you need to know about decals is that they will not show up under static uh, baked lighting or indirect baked lighting. You need to either enable stationary or dynamic on your lights or better yet, and what I recommend because it opens up more options under the uh, decal material is to turn on uh, the debuffer so basically I want to just come up here it's not on by um, default in UE so you need to you need to turn it on so just edit project settings and just come down here to rendering and down here to lighten and this will be disabled by default default uh, when you install UE so or sorry for each project so you just want to uh, enable this and then also just scroll further on down to optimizations and um, change this to opaque and masked meshes and then enable this movables in early Z pass and for all these to work you just have to save your level and reopen it again and then they'll be uh, they'll be activated when you reopen the level right so with that out of the way the easiest way to create a decal is by just creating the decal material and if we go up to modes visual effects you'll see here defair decal and you can just drag it into your scene but then you're going to have to apply uh, material to it so an easier way to do it is just to create the material so you just create a new material and I'll just call it um, m underscore decal and then just double click to open that up so first thing to do is just to click on your master material node and under material domain just change this to deferred decal and just open this up a bit more and the blend mode you can see here there's an error a compilation there so the blend mode must be set to uh, translucent and the error will go away and then your decal blend mode all these debuffer options have become available obviously because the, the debuffer is activated they wouldn't be there if it, if it weren't so these are uh, some of the basic ones you get but um, these open up a lot more options with the debuffer on um, it's another reason to have it on so first things first I'm just gonna go to uh, debuffer translucent color depending on which of these options you choose it'll open up these different channels here so if we just hold down three and click you get a three vector and we can just choose choose a color here I'll just choose um, a red piping in there to the base color and just set that blue to zero and hit apply and now you can this material here is a decal material so you can actually drag this out the same way you could drag out the, the decal and you can see here what it's doing uh, based on this bounding box it's just projecting so if I pull that up you can see here the arrow is pointing down so it's projecting down and that's why you get nice crisp edges on the surface that it hits in this case the ground because it's going down and why it's uh, blurred out here because it's projecting um, against its axis I suppose you could say so you just want to rotate that 90 degrees and now the arrow is pointing in that way and you just move that back so wherever you move this then it's going to project based on that bounding box so we can still see the roughness of the underlying material and also the normal that are coming through because we've only hooked up the base color so it's only receiving the base color so that's why you have all these different options here depending on what your decal was so for instance if this was um, going to be a poster or something that was or something that was painted onto the wall um, you would only use color and roughness because the roughness of the paint will be different than the roughness of the, the, the wall um, but the normal would essentially be 
shown through because the paint is going directly onto a rough surface so I'm going to activate uh, color normal and roughness and now they become available as well and if I just grab this for instance and plug it in here and then reapply that the normal now is a solid color and um, because we have a solid color in here now you can put normal maps in here as well let's show that in a while but uh, for the moment I just uh, plug that in there to, to block out the underlying normal and now the roughness is still showing through so if we just hold down three to give us another three vector and I'll set the roughness to white so that's fully rough and if I plug that into the roughness and apply that that'll then override uh, the underlying roughness of the rock so similarly uh, I can change this to black hit OK press apply and now you can see because there's no roughness it's reflective you can also plug uh, one constant in there just zero to one but uh, it makes no odds just for the example here so that's pretty much how, how the basics of it work and sometimes um, I find that um, if you um, are changing the material around here and um, from the one that you have um, dragged on into your level and it does it's not updating and um, just delete it and, and, and drag it out again um, for whatever reason sometimes it just doesn't update it must be some sort of bug or something and um, another thing I forgot to mention um, in 413 they added mesh decals but um, I'm just going to concentrate for the moment on these deferred decals and maybe for a future video I might go over um, the mesh decals I haven't really um, messed around with them at all myself so um, that'll probably be one for the future so now that we have this basic kind of decal in position you um, can mess around and just show some of the things you can do so for instance I'm just gonna come down and look for um, one of these textures here I'm just gonna drag this one in here this hex normal map just comes with the starter content and I'm gonna change this now and um, back to uh, just translucent normal and I'll just override the normal with this hex pattern and apply that and now because um, we're only using obviously uh, the normal channel here under the decal blending mode and um, only the normal is going to be um, factored in here obviously when it's rendering it so um, you can see how that might be might be useful like you could have just um, you know, if it was sci-fi corridors or whatever sort of thing it was, and um, you could just make up some of these panels with just a normal map, and I could even just um, you know, let's say for instance, it was just going to be a normal map. Um, you could still derive the roughness and the albedo from the wall that it was being applied to. So, but only change the normal. So, say for instance, I want to just grab, um, or maybe a metal or something. I'll just grab this metal. You know, then you could just um, have modular walls that were exactly the same mesh that you were just instancing around the level. And then you could have several different of these decals to just place them, different parts and different walls, just to, to vary it up so it doesn't just look like repetitive walls or tiling textures all the way down. And that's the beauty of um, using these decals because they're relatively cheap um, so you can just build basic uh, environment modular pieces with tile and textures and then just stick a load of different decals all over the place to give you some nice variation um, and then also you know you can change this um, 
there's an emissive mode as well um, and then you can just play around with the different um, combinations it is to get sort of the effects that you want so this is the basics I'm also going to do an, another part and I'll show using um, custom masked textures for maybe you know dripping stains or uh, graffiti or even sort of a, a torn and ripped poster where you could have uh, the poster would have its own um, normal and roughness map that would be different from the underlying surface so so I'll look out for that in, uh, in part two alright and hope this was useful cheers thanks good luck